Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Lübeck, the Let's Play world that I'm uh, uh, doing things in at the moment. Uh, I'm Veda Gavia, and oh, my world is loading. I can see. And today, anyway, we are going to um, uh, do a little Halloween special here in the south of England. The uh, Evenings are getting darker, the wind is howling, and the leaves are turning slightly orange. And uh, as I'm sure you're aware, the uh, 31st of October, it's Halloween. And, uh, well, we have this church, or temple, that I uh, decorated a little bit in a previous episode. And um, the plan for this episode is basically to, in this er area here, make a graveyard. I thought that would be nice. And make it uh, really Halloween-y and, uh, and uh, maybe a tiny bit scary in a fun way. And uh, so that's the plan for the episode. And uh, well, I hope you guys have had a good week. Uh, I have been busy in Minecraft this week. I've had a little bit of time and uh, so I've done quite a few different things. Uh, one of them is going to appear, um, I think, at the end of this video. And that is, um, I went to the nether with uh, Refi the Llama, my secret guest. <laughs> and uh, we were looking for wither skulls uh, for two reasons. First of all, I wanted to decorate part of this build with uh, wither skulls, wither skeleton skulls. B and uh, second of all, I also want to actually um, defeat the wither so that I can get a beacon. It went uh, alright, but uh, <laughs> you'll see more about that later. Uh, for now I will talk a little bit about this area and what I intend to do. So this here, I've decided, is the holy symbol of this temple. And uh, you can't you can't obviously make proper crosses or half moons or whatever religion takes a fancy. And also this is a fantasy world, obviously, so we don't want to really mirror any any uh, actual religion. Uh, so this is the the symbol. It's like a circle thing, and then in the middle here uh, there's a light. And so that's going to be a little bit of a theme, I think, in this in these builds. Um, but basically, you see here. Um, that we have some, well, some cobblestone blocks, and they are basically symbols in my head for uh, little mausoleums that I'm going to build, and uh, then in between them, uh, it's going to be tiny little paths, and then there's going to be gravestones on uh, the end of these things, um, and this uh, little bit bigger mos uh, mausoleum down here is going to have a stairway down. And I don't know if I've showed you this, but um, the vicinity here to the temple is quite interesting. This is all a natural path that I sort of happened to notice was here after I built the temple. And it leads down to here, and it goes around a bit. And uh, it's quite an interesting area, basically. And then it goes down into this valley here. And so I thought that underneath this... Um, Underneath this uh, bigger mausoleum, uh, a uh, stairway is going to lead down, and then it's going to end up being uh, sort of a Halloween path, or a uh, trick-or-treat path. So I'm going to try and do some redstone in there, and some bits like that as well. Um, when it comes to these mausoleums, I'm not sure, they might have to be a tiny bit bigger, because I want to fit a sarcophagus in each one of them as well. So we'll see about that. Uh, but anyway, I shall uh, get on with uh, building a little bit of this mausoleum here, and we'll see how it turns out. I haven't actually decided on a style yet, but I'm going to figure something out. I have, um, oh, I'm going to show you before I do that, I'm going to show you the kind of blocks I'm intending to use. As you can see, there's quite a lot of different things in here, uh, but all of these blocks are going to be used. And obviously we do have pumpkins as well, so we're going to use them a little bit. Or jack-o'-lanterns, I mean. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll get on and uh, be back when I have something else to show you. And the sun is going down. 
and uh, we'll see if I can do this now without being blown up but here's the first mausoleum and it looks quite nice um, as with all mausoleums the uh, main features are on the front so it looks quite plain on the back and I really like how the roof is quite low and sort of unimpressive on the back but if you look at it from the front it looks um, very very um, elaborate well you know very rather elaborate anyway and uh, we have some vines growing on it and stuff like that and it's all quite shiny I don't know if I should um, make the roof smoother um, or the rice smoother here by uh, putting slabs on the um, upside down slab oh, sorry upside down stairs here I'll uh, try that out later so a second I think I hear mobs anyway yeah and uh, when you go in there is a um, sarcophagus with a mysterious light underneath it and I will show you uh, how that is done as well but for now I think I need to head inside and, uh, yeah there you go zombies are abound <laughs> I don't I, I don't mind the zombies so much they sort of add to the ambience of the place but uh, I don't want people blowing it up and by people I mean creepers so okay I'm gonna sleep and uh, quickly here and then I will show you how the light is made right creeper no creeper what's going on is there any creeper? No, we're all right. Okay, I think we're all right. That's also famous last words, obviously. Right. So let's see if we can um, make a hole here. There is a basically a block of netherrack, one block down, with a fire on it, and that's how the um, effect is made. It looks quite nice. So that's the first one done here. Uh, I'm gonna experiment a little bit more with the upside down stairs see how that looks in fact I can do that now on camera have to take that out and bam <sighs> yeah that looks nicer doesn't it I'm gonna have to do that like that and then I think this iron bar is gonna have to go and make place for a stair like so I think I'll keep the bottom ones like that though. I do like the iron bar for decoration in these sort of these instances. So hopefully this vine will in fact I can make it grow down a bit further. There we go, that looks better. And I don't know if that will uh, come down over the top or over the entrance here. I might. If it does that's not a problem. If it doesn't then that's fine too. So here we go, there's some vines on the inside as well. Okay, I shall crack on with the second one here, down here. Um, so basically from the from the gate here, from the door, you come out here and the path will lead this way. Sort of straight down here, quite simple. Down to this big mausoleum, but off of it will come smaller paths, one here and one for the other one. So that's the idea. Um, <coughs> yeah, as you can see, I had to make the uh, mausoleums a bit bigger than I had intended because uh, obviously the the sarcophagus won't fit otherwise. I will try, I think, to make a bit of a different uh, experience in the next one. So there's going to be one sarcophagus on the left and one on the right, and you should be able to go down the middle. And we'll see how that pans out. And uh, yeah, I'll continue with that and be back later. So the second and third mausoleum are done. And uh, I've added some more detail. Ooh, we have a pumpkin, which is sort of a variety of, of this here symbol. And I've added some gravestones. Um, I'm going to try and add some flowers and some... Actually, you know what? Can I add... That looks quite good. And some bits like that, I'm going to fiddle around with that a bit more later on. I've added the paths, so this is a stone path, 
which goes to a gravel path when it goes to the smaller mausoleums and um, this mausoleum looks quite good um, especially in fact from the inside uh, from the outside it looks a little bit flat but that's that's because it's smaller than the other two and when you do small things in Minecraft they look flat and blocky and stuff so yeah I like the inside of this one a lot and I like the outside of that one a lot so this one I like uh, both the inside and outside of so that's the best of two worlds we have uh, pretty much the same style but a bit more elaborate maybe on this one and it even has a little window in the back here and the vines go uh, go around here on the inside as well this one has a stairway down leading to an eerie green light more vines and a pathway here with, with more lights on the sides like that I think uh, actually those lights are really good. I, I tried a lot of different things, pumpkins behind glass and all sorts, but I think this is the spookiest one really. And uh, so that's why I went for that one. I need to eat a bit. Um, so this path is going to contain a couple of pranks. There's gonna be pressure plates on the floor and uh, when you step on them, uh, things are gonna happen unfortunately this is going to have to wait until next episode when I will continue this build and uh, hopefully uh, um, manage to complete my little track um, off camera here in the meantime I'm gonna finish up this area so that next time we can spend the entire episode building the redstone and and uh, the little pranks um, but now uh, we're going to watch some ex excerpts of mine and my special guests uh, Refi the Lama's adventures in the nether. I thought it would be fitting for Halloween. And uh, so enjoyed that. And um, uh, this is actually going to be the end of, of uh, my, my talking tonight. So I will say already thank you very much for watching. And um, if you liked this uh, video please uh, click the like button it would be very much appreciated and you can also obviously subscribe uh, to get updates of when I'm going to um, release my new videos and what I'm up to in Minecraft and please share the video as well if you like it um, we need to spread the word guys um, so this has been the Halloween special part one in uh, Lübeck Let's Play with me, Viragavia. And I'm signing off. Bye bye. Who's that there? Who's that there? We have an intruder. We have an intruder! Or is it a zombie pigman on a minecart? It could be a zombie pigman on a minecart. That's probably what it is. We're gonna have to try and race them. Oh no, they disappeared. They disappeared! Ah, oh, that's definitely not a zombie pig man. And it's Refi the Llama! Hello, Refi the Llama. Aye! Seriously. Nether Fortress. Let's go down here then. We are going to try to find some wither skeletons because we are going to try and kill the wither. And so I brought a little helper. Refi the Llama. She's taken a vow of silence. So she's not allowed to speak to us, but I, but that doesn't matter. She doesn't usually say anything sensible anyway. Um, I'm just going to build a little stair here so we can get back home. And then we have another fortress, I think, somewhere here. Where is it? It's over there. Okay, so we're going to try and make our way there somehow. This is actually not the same nether fortress that we intended to go to, but this is a nether fortress after all, so I'm sure it will be fine. Actually, it is the same. Look, there's a there's a stairway over here. Are you with me here, Refli? Refli the Lama is with us, and so is the ghast.
got him. Her. It. Okay. I'm gonna build a bridge. And... I'm gonna see what about these ne these nethers, these withers. There's a fellow over there. I went out uh, netherrack, sorry, nether quartz hunting here the other day, and it was very rewarding. So this is a good area. Hey, stop walking at me. Just a second here, and here, and here, and we have a, an amazing looking stairway. Okay, so we actually have been here before, and this is our little base over here, with our incredibly safe bridge. And uh, I don't, th I think I plundered this already, there's nothing sensible in here apart from some nether brick. But I think, if I recall correctly, uh, that there was quite a lot of uh, wither skeletons down this way. Okay, I may have fallen actually here. Hello, Refi the Llama. Okay, I don't know where I am now. And also, I'm almost dead and I need to eat and all sorts. And there's ghasts. Yelp. Please help me. Hello. That is not my bow. Let's shoot them a bit. Are you coming down, Rafi the Llama? Or are you staying up there? Ah, there we go. Mind. Because those dudes, they're like, they don't like us much. That being said, we do have... Hey, you got fire thingy on your shooting thingy. Um, we do have fire protection potions, which is quite handy. In situations such as these. But obviously we always need more. Hey! So, and there's a magma cube. Let's kill him. Okay, so it's easy to get sidetracked here. Obviously, where are the weather skeletons? One might be wondering. And I would be wondering the same thing. I hate fighting in this game. I really am bad at it. I can help those little dudes. Yeah, the good thing about the magma cubes is that they give us um, magma cream, which that it didn't in this case, but still. And the magma cream is yummy because you can make fire resistance potions with the help of them. Do you have any blocks? I think we should try and get to those bridges over there, because they are fun. And there might be some more n wither skeletons there as well. Um, some more, I say, by the way. I, we haven't actually found a single one. And I don't know why, really. Ooh, there's one. Hello, mister. Where did you go? Oh, when I died. <laughs> there he is. That's the guy who killed me. Or maybe it's that guy. Actually, Ref the Llama took revenge on me, or revenged me, avenged me, so these are some new wither skeletons, and they're impossible to get to, unless you mine. And I think I have an idea now. See, look, he can't hit me. <laughs> he can't hit me either. Well, actually, he could have. But those guys are going to be a problem, aren't they? So, let's see. Hey, that was totally rare for the llama that hit me. I have the wither. And also, obviously, I have no fire resistance now anymore. So, that's good. And now... There was another wither skeleton somewhere. Where was it? Over here. Ow. Ow, 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 ay, 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 ay. Let's run away. And build something. Everything is 
annoyed with us. That's really not good. Okay, I have the wither and people are shooting at me and I'm gonna die and did you die? No, you didn't. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I have a dirt mansion here and I'm hiding in it. And I'm witherless now. Let's see, let's eat. And Oh man, this is this is hard work, this is. I need to do something about the gas uh, sorry, the blaze situation here. mental stuff. I have a pretty good bow, by the way, so that's good. That's something that speaks for us. There's something here we can pick up. Is there have we gotten us ahead yet? No, we don't. This is not going to yield us ahead in uh, this tempo. Hmm. Let's see. Ref the llama being chased. There's a ghast up there. Let's see if we can shoot him. Hey, I got him. Oh! This bow and arrow lark is hard. Hard work. Okay, so this is definitely an area where things spawn. I think we can safely assume that there's a place spawner in the vicinity. I thought we had actually um, done away with one of the blaze spawners. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe maybe there's another one. Okay, so no more baddies. See, over here I think there's a blaze spawner. I don't think things can spawn in it. I'm gonna go and dance on it for a bit and see if I'm alright. Come on, blazy wazes. Hey, part another party. <laughs> anyway. So I think this is plumbed, as it were, but where's the other uh, spawner, I wonder? And why are there so few nethers? Maybe, oh, uh, wither skeletons. Maybe it's because we've lit the place up. I don't know if they are light-sensitive dudes or not. Anyway, we'll uh, chase down some more and get back. No, don't do it! <laughs> oh, look. Hey, fire resistance. Can you get out? Yeah, you can get out. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna keep wither hunting. Wither skeleton hunting, even. I think this place is too well lit. Oh, I hope you have enough blocks there. Ref of the llama. Swimming in lava. But in a good way. I hear it's good for your skin. <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think she wants to come up yet. I think she's enjoying herself too much. Okay, well, yep, I'm going hunting the weather skeletons. And the hunt is on. We have some more weather It's a, an entire blimmin' army here, really. I think I'm going to have to shoot them a bit. I, unless Refi the Lama wants to be in the way all the time. I hit her. Are you alright, Lord of the Llama? There's a blaze as well. Right, and I did not receive a wither head. But there is a blaze thingy, and there's another wither skeleton up there. We better actually watch out here. This guy is definitely going to try and jump me. My sword is really rubbish. My sword is really rubbish. Hey there, little fella. And I need to feed, eat. And there's another skeleton coming our way. And there's apparently one behind me. This is not bad. This is bad, as in not good. Where am I? Oh dear. Okay, here he comes. Let's kill him. He's killed. 
No drop. Oh my days. I am withered. Up to my ears. One and a half hearts. I better relax for a bit. Anyway, we're gonna continue this for a bit. Uh, but off camera. So, if we got one, I'm gonna show you later on in the video.